Hello and welcome comrades. My name is Alpha B. And today I was thinking about PBS. Mostly the shows that I would watch growing up. Now at the time, it was just free television. I didn't realize how influential that was going to be to me as a human being. And although some of the shows that I've watched growing up were hit and miss, there were very few that were as influential as Bob Ross. A former Air Force Sergeant, animal lover, and all-around good person, Bob Ross taught us at a very young age that anyone can draw, given enough time, enough effort, and, of course, passion. And that could be translated to multiple things in your life. And I think that was pretty great. And so I was thinking, how do I capture that awesome feel that, you, that I got watching Bob Ross? especially in such troubling times. And then it occurred to me, maybe I can, you know, I've seen these paint alongs online and I, I thought that was a cute idea, but you know me, I love overdoing it. So we're gonna do one step over that. I'm initiating a game called the Bob Ross Challenge. <gasps> You like that? Yeah. Bum bum bum. <laughs> to my side, here you see an easel adorned with multiple paints. And I'll probably get a close up shot of that at some point. What we're going to be doing is following along and painting with Bob Ross. But intermittently, let's say every minute, I'm going to be spinning something called the Bob Ross Challenge Reel. I know, super clever, right? where I've listed some challenges that'll make things a little bit interesting. So, so it'll be, it could be anything between painting with my off hand or something a little bit more extreme. Nothing messy. We're gonna keep the spirit of Bob Ross alive in this video, making it nice and chill for everyone to enjoy. That being said, I'm gonna have to remove my glasses because everything's pink. <laughs> and that can't work out for, uh, unless you want the whole thing to be pink. I'm not here to judge. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's begin our painting. Actually, while I still have your attention, go ahead and do me a huge favor and leave a like and a comment on this video. I know it's a little early to ask for it, but I will forget later because I know who I am. What can I say? I'll get really focused on this. Let's get on with it. Actually, I should probably readjust this camera here. See it. Ooh. There we are. Oh no. I figure we go with something easy and start at the first episode. Remember, every 30 seconds we will be spinning that wheel and seeing what craziness ensues. And here we will try to show you how to bring that artist out, to put it on canvas, because you too can paint almighty pictures. What a wholesome gentleman. Right. All right, so first I guess we're gonna paint so white on a white. Canvas wet. Can't say. And all we want is a nice, even, thin coat of paint here. Can't say it. I don't get it, but he's the artist. Just covered nice and even. Nice and even. Let's paint it white, I guess. You also need an I am a master, look at this. We'll take Work of art. Can you believe it's my first time? So big strokes. Oh, this is looking interesting already. Oh, wait a minute. It's been a minute. Pause the presses. Pause. All right, time to spin the wheel. YouTube Easter egg. Ah, that was a lot sooner than I thought it was going to be. All right, so the point of this point, uh, this challenge, is that we are supposed to throw an Easter egg of an existing YouTuber somewhere in here. Uh, however, <laughs> this is just a green blob, but I won't go against my rules. Yeah, let's do smaller YouTubers. Let's do my pal, Shadow Chris. Recently coming up, I think this is a crescent moon, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and then like a flame. Got his part, that little, actually no. <laughs> Beat the devil out of this thing. Uh, beating the devil. 
And don't you dare comment that, oh, why are you painting straight out of the case? Look, buddy, I'm just trying to have fun. Think that's a symbol? Yeah, that's perfect. Now that's there forever. In the center. Oh, he's moving so fast. Chin uh, wait. <laughs> and we'll begin working outward. Oh, no. So much to catch up on. By now, maybe you have reckoned that all of us had enjoyed for many, many years. You ever noticed that TV. Bob Ross's hair is no just Alexander. perfect? And we'll just blend this out a little bit more here. Uh, this is not looking great. We're going to start with He's onto trees already. And a touch of Prussian blue. Uh, now, the Prussian blue is a hundred times stronger than oh, the crimson. No. This is... So use just a little blue oh, and this, a this is fine. This is fine. And this is fine. Here we're going to begin pushing in basic tree right, shape. It looks like it's... So Oh, time to spin the wheel again. Bend the brush. Make those little Boss. leaves and branches. All right, Bob Ross challenge. And video shuffle. <laughs> All right. All right. So this challenge, I'm going to take the video that I'm watching and completely stop watching it and start it at about the same time in another video. So we could end up with some crazy mashup here in a second. All right, let's see. You'll pick it at random. Some leaves on them, so we're not too worried right now. So it looks like he did some green down here, like so some green green. Here and there. Yeah. Oh, this is looking like a catastrophe. Okay, let's get us yellow. Oh, we cad yellow. And get up some sap green. Why? So we have cad yellow and sap green. Why? What are you doing? Okay. Pull that brush in. Where are we? Oh Very my gentle. gosh! Look how far he is. I'm like nice nowhere near there. Tree. And we begin worrying about a little detail. Oh, no. Alright, let's play some catch up here. I mentioned before he was actually in the Air Force. That's that wasn't a lie. Like he he uh I believe he retired like a sergeant lieutenant or something like that. Which is a ridiculously huge deal. Um especially considering that he's such a a docile gentleman. Like he has the ability to freaking kill someone. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Look at this. Look at this, got yeah, some trees, some got oh, some trees. trees this is looking pretty good, all things considered. Especially since I have entered this late stage. It just looks like he's, oh no, I put too much. Oh no. Oh no. Got the bushes. I'm trying, Bob Rossi. I'm trying. Should I be more chill? Should I be more quiet? Nah. What do you think, boy? Really Doing a good job, you like it? Yeah. Spin the wheel with Bob Ross challenge. Paint with offhand. Alright, so I'm right handed, so I'm gonna be painting with my left. This technically doesn't seem like a big deal, but I feel like it's gonna be the biggest deal. <laughs> Highlights right here on this one. So it looks sort of like work in layers. It really, it really makes your painting much, much deeper. It makes all these things happen. Oh no, I can't get the splatter effect. You know, I, I kind of like it. It's like people hid in the forest. Maybe I'll put a Slenderman back here. Oh, he's using a knife. Uh, what happened to you? I think there's several knives on. Trunks and stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, I have this. This could kind of be a knife. just the point. Oh man, this looks gorgeous. Screw the haters, this is actually pretty neat. Granted, it doesn't look like anything too outrageous yet. You just lay out a basic shape. Oh, he's making a house? Bob Ross, you animal. Just barely, barely touching the canvas. Barely touching the canvas. So, I guess I'll do a house here. Oh, oh there's so much black here now. Oh, oh, it's, it's a little lighter. This mix it in there. Very simple little shape. Yeah. Oh, it became gray. Oh, it could be gray. I'm a little husky. Maybe this is an old barn type building. It looks. Oh wait, it's been two minutes. This is anarchy. This is so much. <laughs> All right, spinning the wheel.
YouTube Easter egg. Cool, 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 cool. What YouTuber? Because I don't want, again, I don't want to do big YouTubers. I want to do like small ones that are growing. Off the top of my head, I can only really think of a few. I'm going to go with Lady Pelvic. She has been blowing up recently. Just her ambition is kind of inspiring. Now, I don't have the means to look up her logo right now, but I believe it looks like a pelvic. I know. Freaking shocker. Maybe a flag? Maybe a flag? I'm gonna add it. I'll take the creative liberties. Oh, this is not looking like a pelvic. I mean, I'm sure it looks like someone's pelvic. Poor bastard. Okay, that's her over. No, I kind of put them both in the same side. I didn't even realize. Beautiful. Uh oh. We'll call this abstract. Just about taking oh, it away. Path. But you can still make out a little indication here and there. Alright, I could do that. It can't be too hard. There. One happy little path coming up. <laughs> oh man, this is horrible. <laughs> Thirty second blindfold. That will be less easier, but I'm just to show you guys that I am doing it. I'm gonna do this, and this is gonna be probably where I mess up the painting. Um, I wish I could show you and the painting at the same time, but I'm gonna give myself a little bit of leeway, and I'm gonna just grab one paint. He seems to use a lot of green, so I'll just grab green. It feels like a safe bet. Take one last look at the canvas. A 30 seconds blindfold challenge. Lego. The bushes and trees have just about taken over me. Bushes and trees. Not much of the path left. Bushes. Bushes, trees. I hope this Maybe. is the right. Maybe that's a big oh. tree over here. Uh oh. Let's make some black. Huh? Big some tree. Thing. I don't know where I am. <laughs> that's one of the noises oh. like Okay, the 30, 30 seconds up. Huh. I kind of like that actually. Okay, where are we? Oh this no, Lady Public symbol is melting. Up here. Maybe. Oh no. Yeah, Did not mean to do that. What do you guys think so far? I mean, all in all, this could be worse. We can can we at least all agree that it could be worse? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, Actually I really like Oh no. <laughs> you know, I can work with this. Lean it back yeah, a little bit. Foot, so. Oh, it's, he's making a water stream? That's advance. Yeah, how am I, good. Bob? How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> Thank you for having faith in me, Bob. But all these stones underneath the water. What a brilliant man. It's happy little bushes. I think we have time for one more spin. Because I think he's about to end his painting. Video shuffle. Hell no. A YouTuber Easter egg. We're gonna go with the gaming shelf. Another YouTuber just recently started going up in the ranks. They've been on for a little bit. I just discovered them a little while ago. Um, they don't really have a symbol. Their name is Gaming Shelf, and they do some, you know, pretty fun and energetic game. The guy has a really nice personality. Um, we built a house, so why don't we build a shelf? <laughs> there we are. That's going to be the case. And then the, the, the games are going to be inside. Why purple? Because I like purple. That's the dots. It's all, it's all interpretive. That's where I keep all my PS games and my Xbox games and console games. that I cover everyone? No one's going to be pissed? All right, good. Alright, let's finish this up, Mr. Boss. Ross. This looks so good. Oh. There we go. This looks so good. Oh, oh. Little man. Look at this guy. Usually a lot of fun. Give me some ideas. Name it. And at home you can make some beautiful paintings also. Until next week, God bless. A and almost as quickly as he arrived, he disappeared. It would be um, 
presumptuous to assume that mine is going to be exactly like his, especially since he has talent and time and effort on his side. But I think the whole point of, you know, his program is that anyone can draw. Everyone has to start somewhere. So hopefully this wasn't too crazy and hopefully this entertaining you or allowed you to relax a little bit while I covered my hands in all sorts of pretty colors. Anyway, I gotta go wash this off because it might be poisonous. I don't wanna eat this by mistake. Thanks, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Later.